Hi everyone, I am Dr. B. Vinmayi. In today's video, we are going to see the second part of organs of speech. It is about the articulatory system. The speech mechanism contains three systems, namely respiratory system, articulatory system and phonetary system. In the last video, we have seen the respiratory system. Now we are going to see the articulatory system. The articulatory system consists of a few organs in our head and neck. These organs are called the organs of speech. It lies in the head. The organs include the lips, the teeth, the tongue and the palate. Apart from this, we have pharyngeal cavity, back wall of the pharynx and larynx. We have three cavities inside our head. One is nasal cavity for the air to move through this nasal path. And then we have oral cavity which is inside the mouth and which contains roof of the mouth and the tongue. Next we have pharynx and then larynx. Let us see one by one. The oral cavity contains first roof of the mouth. This roof of the mouth is divided into four parts. They are namely deep ridge, hot palate, the soft palate and the uvula. Roof of the mouth is also called as palate. Immediately after the front teeth in the upper there is a hard surface on the roof of the mouth. This is called the teeth ridge. It is also called as alveolar ridge. Shortly it can be called as alveolum. Next we have hot palate. After the teeth ridge, the roof of the mouth changes its shape but continues to be hard and bony. This part of the roof of the mouth is called hot palate. Next we have soft palate. After the hot palate, the roof of the mouth becomes somewhat soft and fleshy. This part of the mouth is called soft palate. It is also called as velum. After the soft palate, there is a soft fleshy part hanging loose. This is called the uvula. In Tamil, we call it as ulnak. inside the oral cavity we have tongue. This tongue is divided into six parts. The tip can be easily recognized. The blade of the tongue lies opposite the teeth ridge. The front lies opposite the hot palate. The back of the tongue lies opposite the soft palate. The center of the tongue lies between the front and the back. The root of the tongue lies beyond the back of the tongue. Therefore, the tongue is divided into six parts namely tip, blade, front, center, back and root. These are the positions occupied by the different parts of the tongue when the speech organs are at rest. That is, when we are not speaking, these are the positions of the tongue. You could see in this video how the positions of the tongue move when the German and Chinese speaker are conversing with each other. 
what we call throat in our everyday language is called the pharynx. Behind the pharynx is the back wall of the pharynx. Pharynx is the same path for food and air. When the food is entering into the pharynx layer, the epiglottis closes the windpipe so that it would pass into the food pipe. If it is air, the epiglottis will open up and the air will pass through the oral cavity so that sounds can be articulated. Next we have larynx. What we commonly call Adam's apple is called larynx. So the respiratory system lies in the trunk of the body and the articulatory system lies in the head and neck. In the head, we have oral cavity. In the neck, we have pharyngeal cavity. Under oral cavity, we have roof of the mouth and tongue. The roof of the mouth is divided into four parts, whereas tongue is divided into six parts. Next, in the pharyngeal cavity, we have back wall of the pharynx and larynx. These are the organs of speech which help humans to make speech sounds. Thank you for your patient listening. Meet you all in the next video.